October. This is Mark from Truth Seeker, and I'm in Soul 637. It's an original NASA picture. As always, I'll give you all the links. I'm really going to center on this area right here. A couple of little things strewn about, but this is going to be it's going to be where I'm going to be looking, but there's some other parts that I'm going to hit up real quick. One of the things that looks real cool is this area here, but unfortunately it's manipulated by NASA, so, I mean, 10% of that could be real. You know, who knows? Alright, I've been playing around with my night vision, and I'm going to show you some stuff. You take it as you want to take it. This is that little part that looks like a man made monument. Now, this over here, I believe, is all editing on the bottom here. I believe that this goes way down farther, and uh, I believe this is part of it, but I believe this thing goes way down. They, there's a little uh, mon uh, a statue of a head on the top of this monument, and I take to be another one. They definitely um, took the distortion brush and hit it just a little bit. There's this weird shape here. Here looked to be another statue head. There were some weird shapes back here. Side this monument, but uh, I'm gonna take a quick uh, look through the picture uh, with my night vision, and then we'll uh, then we'll go into Photoshop real quick. Starting point. Now I'm just going to do this. If you see anything that you think is important, you know, put it in the description. You know, in the comments as always. How this looks like it's a face that they just blurred out, a statue face. This had some strange structure to it, too. And I think that's about it. I just wanted to show you that. That one piece with, with the night vision. Well, and this one here, look at this. There's one eye, there's the other eye. I just got a bunch of stuff around it. Let's see how they tried to manipulate it. I thought that was pretty cool. And this showed up in the night vision. See how it looks like it's a perfect circle? But of course, you know, it's hidden in that fake sand. There looks to be like more piping and stuff. That's a very strange area. Here's where they go with that heavy black cover up. They really lay it on heavy. And you can see they used the, the, the eraser here. Because you can still see the digital artifact of the item. This is what I'm really going to center on. 
All right, let's go into Photoshop. I'll see you in a second. Right, here we are in Photoshop. And this is the item. Now you can tell they really did a lot of blurring. And even in the background here, they went to town. Now I used the burn tool on other parts. This I haven't touched. I just played around with a couple of the settings. But, uh, I mean, you can see what's going on here. And it looks to be uh, some type of statue on the side here. You see how they, see the, the block, see what they're doing with the blocking here. See how they're blurring these pixels. You see the pixel between it that's not blurred. You see the pixel here that they, didn't move. See how it looks like an eye, the mouth of a statue. This is the stuff that I'm looking for. I'm catching this between the pixels that they're moving or they're blurring. That's that's what I'm looking for. You know, that's the only way I could show you what's really going on. See how this has got a band going around the top here. Now I believe this monument goes way down. You can see now this area here I hit with the burn tool and sharpened it just a tad, but I believe this thing goes way down. You can still see parts of it. You can see where, see how fake this sand and stuff looks? You see how that look? there's man-made structure in this. You see this head, how it pops out? Two eyes, the symmetry of it on the side of it. That's man-made. See all this work they did here? It's a lot of work. You can see how they distorted this thing. See, but what I'm looking for is between the pixels. The ones that just don't get picked up. That's where you can catch some of this really cool stuff. It's not easy, but, you know, if you take your time, like a bunch of us do. My buddy Chris over at Mars Anomalies just put out a cool video. And uh, Will just put out something real real cool, real crazy. And, uh, you know, all, all the guys and girls. Amazon KC just did a two-part, which... Uh, Trust me, you will not want to use your fast-forward button. You'll be using your pause button, I guarantee you, but you will not be using the fast-forward. <laughs> See, this looks like a circular craft just laying up here. I mean, it's probably not, but just... You see how that just looks circular, just laying up there? Now, this here I hit with the burn tool. And sharpened it just, just a tad. I mean, I'm talking just a little. I mean, you see what's going on here? You see how they blur this and they multiple colors and this little piece in the back here. You see what they're doing? See like this little statue here? How they put all these little lines and see here how they got rid of this? It looks like a, a statue head on some type of pedestal. And they just put these lines through it. That's all. And basically it just falls to the ground, you know, it just kind of disappears. Uh, and I just, I used the burn tool a couple of times, that's really, you know, nothing, uh, nothing crazy. And I really liked using uh, the burn tool or the sharpening tool. But uh, these pictures have gotten so bad that I've had to. See, like this piece here. What 
is this perfect? It looks like an E, right? Right on the edge of the photo. You could see how the computer missed part of it. Or it was so heavy. See? See how that's perfect, the symmetry in that? If I measured the space between these, these little uh, openings, I guarantee you they'd be perfect. But, I mean, this is the stuff that I'm looking for. See what's on top of this piece here? See the angles? See how this looks like another S? See everything that's hidden here? See everything that's hidden under here? I just made a couple of tweaks just to show you this stuff. But do you see what's going on? Do you see the deception? See how this looks like a perfect S? If you go back and watch my videos, it's all over. I found a bunch of crosses. I mean, look at look at. You got to look at the stuff that I'm showing you here. Do you see this? How this comes up on a pedestal? So you would come in here, you would walk through here. And look at that. It's got one circle, another circle, just perfect. And then they fill it in with this fake sand. See this? How can how can this be nature? Look at this. See how they hit this? Comes up perfect bends. Look at the bend in this. Look at this. They're cut to me, I believe they're at some type of plant. Or this is our government. This is some type of piece of machinery. I mean you see what I'm showing you here? Look at this. I mean, a little common sense, and you know that this is not uh, the scale, I, I believe, is just way off. We have no idea. I mean, I, I believe this stuff is huge. Like, this here could be a gigantic craft. I mean, do you see? This is not a rock. I mean, there's just no way. But see, they put these lines in here. And people come and they look. And go, oh, wow, look at that. Damn, that's cool. Okay. And they're gone. You know, most people are looking at these pictures for a couple of seconds. There's a couple lunatics in this world. One of them's named Mark. True seeker. One of them's named uh, Amazon KC. One's named Will. One of them's name's Chris, you know, and then so on and so on. Olympus Sky, Mars on Mast, you know. This is the handful of lunatics that are doing what we're doing. I mean, just picking these down to the pixel. But to me, this looks like some type of craft. This could be a building, a gigantic facility. See how they just put these lines through it? And then people look at it and go, oh, wow, that's a rock, you know. See? There's no reason for these lines to be here. None. And I urge all my viewers, when you get a chance, you have to go watch Space Cadets videos. The link is in my description. You have to watch. For all my new the newbies, you got to go watch it. He explains to you what they're doing. Sometimes I take for granted that everybody knows, you know, what a lot of this stuff is, blurring and, you know, banging the exposure and, you know, blasting the gamma. See, it looks like another S hidden in there. See all this stuff hidden? See, I'm able to get underneath these fake rocks that they're making. Just enough to show you. See, if I use 
uh, screen capture software. You'll never, I'll never be able to show you this stuff. I have to use my Nikon camera. And I've tried probably about 30 different cameras, and this is the only one that'll give me this detail. Every one of, every one of my friends I borrowed a camera from. See all these lines? See, I can't show you this in screen capture software. It just doesn't come out right. I don't get that 3D effect. You see how now, when I adjust back, this will look like a rock. But do you see what's going on here? You see all the symmetry and carvings and piping. And see how this looks like a statue? And I urge you, if you, I know, I know, all my viewers are going to see stuff. And just put it down in uh, the comments. See what they did here? They came along here and just blurred that with a little circular brush, and you could still see the head of it though, and the base. I mean, the manipulation on their part is so obvious. And it's sad because they don't even give a shit. Like one of my videos is, uh, that one of my cross videos is basically going viral. I mean, in the past like three days, it's got like 150,000 views or something, something stupid. And it's all over Russia and the news there and stuff. Like if you Google that cross, it's something's happening in Russia with my videos. I don't know what, but just hopefully somebody big will be able to watch them. And maybe I can get some, you know, something done. But it's amazing. Uh, you know, I, I always thought, hey, if I had, you know, like 50,000 views at the end of the year and, you know, 100 or 200 subscribers, I'd be happy. It's just unbelievable. It's unreal to me. I mean, if things keep up on the pace that they're going, I'll have like two million, you know, at least a million and a half views by the end of the year. Which is just absurd. It's crazy to me. Absolutely crazy. I would have never, you know, I knew people would take on, you know, take to what I'm doing. But I just never, I never thought, oh, I'm, I'm just flabbergasted, <laughs> almost speechless. I appreciate every share, everything you guys are doing, you know, I'll do the hard work. I need you guys to do the easy work, share it, tell somebody. If you know somebody that may know somebody that may know somebody, show it to them. See this fake sand? See how the stuff just comes right through here? You can see, look at, see the line of the fake sand? It's all fake. You can see how this looks like uh, maybe a dragon's head that they covered in this fake sand. You can see where part of it wants to come out. See, one, two, see how the perfect symmetry in it? See the carvings in this? That's a dragon's head. If you go back and watch some of my videos, I have pyramids clear as day with Sphinx. Um, you know, I have uh, with uh, dragons, just insane looking dragons. See what they did here? They came, put some, a couple of lines across this. See how it's got a, a tube that's coming out? It's got, it looks like maybe a cast iron piece here. You see the structure in it? Then they come and just go like you know they just but look at it you know that this is not a rock look what's look good look at it see the piece that's coming out of the top that's the stuff you got to look for there's stuff that pops out of the tops of these rocks for some reason they don't they can't get it now you see where it comes this is not sand here see where it comes around so here's a piece of these lines they put here you see what's hidden in here see all of this this is what, see, and they come across here like this, like this. Look at this thing in here. Can 
yeah, if you haven't watched all my videos, I'm telling you, just take take some time at night and every night watch a couple. It's going to change your thought on it, this whole this whole process. You know, I'm more of a guy that's looking to show you the hardcore anomaly. You know, some people like to go more towards like the weird cut stones and buildings and stuff. I'm looking for that mechanical shit. I'm looking for that, you know, like the animals, uh, that fly I showed you, the worm, you know, that piece of machinery, stuff like this. See this? See how this is carved? And they made a mess of it. See the head? That's a dragon's head. What the hell else could it be? I mean, honestly. I mean, all, all kidding aside, what the hell else can it be? And this, this is not rock. All this slate here is all fake, believe me. This is just cover-up. It's all fake. It's covering up stuff like this. This goes down. This is all fake sand. I mean, you can see the objects that want to pop through this fake sand. The really tall stuff, and for some reason it's leaving like an artifact. It's leaving like a digital imprint. See this? What the hell could that be? I mean, come on. But yeah, like I was saying, you got to go check out this guy's space cadet. Important. Very important. Put that on a list of things to do. You gotta like this guy, you gotta subscribe. You tell him Truth Seeker sent you. I was turned on to him by uh, Amazon KC. And I'll tell you, I love her for that. She is just a sweetheart. She's got a great, just, just a great aura about her. And, uh, you know, the way she, uh, you know, she gets into some of the religious aspects and, you know, don't really know what these things could be. I mean, sometimes I do, I, you know, I try to stay away from that a little bit. You know, I'll show you a statue, I'll tell you what I think it is. If you want to put religious implications on it, hey, that's cool, you know. Me, I'm, um, uh, I'm like basically Christian, you know. I grew up Catholic, Christian, you know. You know, I believe God created all of this, everything, the whole universe, and He filled it with life, blasted it with life. I mean, He was no idiot. He wasn't building this whole universe, so we had something to look at. I mean, you got to be, got to be an idiot to think that. I think that's about it, really, for... I mean, there's there's a bunch of stuff in here. I mean, huge amounts of uh, artifacts that they're just covering up. But like I said, most of, most of this picture is fake. Like, stuff like this is coming out. You can see the face. It's got some type of head uh, headdress on it. stuff like this. These are not rocks. Hmm. From here, this is what they want you to believe. What truth seeker knows better. See the face? See how they just blurred all this up? I mean, this is some of the coolest stuff I've ever seen in my life, you know, that I find in these pictures. couple of nitwits over at NASA and our government deem it necessary that I'm not allowed to see this stuff and nor you. Does it piss me off yet? Yeah.
Does it make me want to do something about it? Yeah, that's why I'm doing this. You know? And I know I'm getting to somebody because I've seen over the past couple of months what's happening to the quality of pictures. You know, the group of us that do this stuff, you know, years ago, nobody was doing this stuff. So they were real loose. If you go back to some of the older souls, my God, the stuff that's in there. You know, I mean, this is supposed to be a rock. I mean, you got rocks in your head if you believe it. I mean, I found wood, you know, crosses, live animals, statues. You name it, I found it. Grays. <laughs> I mean, I'm talking about real live grays. You gotta go back and search my videos. See how this looks carved. And then they just add this fake sand and stuff around it, and it's gone. I see how this is, see how these sand is piled up, I believe a lot of it's fake, but see how it's like, it's got ridges, something in the angle of this, something is just not right with all this, I tried to use the burn tool over here and I got some of this to pop, it almost looks like there's beams, Looks like there's some type of support beams coming out and going down. All right, so let me take you back over here. This is where I started. This is where my excitement for this photo came from. And I'll leave you with that. You know what to do, guys. I love you all. just blessed with some of the greatest viewers on YouTube and you guys know what to do you got to go check out you know all these guys that I've been telling you about and give them some love we're all family we all try to help each other true seekers out <laughs>